Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering the 2018 Coral UK Open, which is going to be live on OTV4 in about two minutes. So good job on pressing the record button, but I needed to do this video because I know so many of us not don't understand it, but it's not like the FA Cup of Darts. I love it. I love to draw on stage. I love the Riley qualifiers. I love the format and how it works. I just think it's brilliant, but I know a lot of us aren't quite sure of the format. So in this video, I thought we'd have a quick look into the format, the prize funds and the schedule for day one. So I've got all the information here, as you can see, so you can read it as you go along if you don't want to listen to my boring voice. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's get to start. Um, so the 128 player Coral UK Open will take place from March the 2nd to the 4th with eight stages in action simultaneously in the early stages as professional stars and Riley's amateur qualifiers compete. The opening rounds in the afternoon session are on Friday, March the 2nd and it will see the lower ranked professionals and amateur competitors in action. The 32 Riley amateur qualifiers are also um, entered at the first round stage headlined by Paul Hogan who defeated Gary Gary Anderson and Adrian Lewis on his way to the last 16 in the 2007 UK Open. Now, as you can see, the top 32 players from the UK Open order of merit, including reigning champion Peter Wright, world number one MVG, and world champion Ron, Rob Cross, will enter the event on Friday evening in the third round. The action will continue on Saturday, March the 3rd, with play across two sessions before Sunday's final stage to see the action centred on the main stage in the skyline pivot. God, I wish I was going. I so so wish I was there. Um, and then from the conclusion of the second round onwards, an open jaw will be made on stage. I love it. I love it when you see like the players come through and they're, 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 they've took a big scalp and they're waiting there to see if they're going to draw, um, you know, like a huge name player on stage and get an opportunity of a lifetime. This uh, tournament is priceless. Let's have a little look at the prize funds here. The last 64 are going to get 1,750 quid. The last 32 are going to get three and a half grand. The last 16 are going to get six and a half grand. Quarterfinals are going to get 11 and a half grand. Semifinals are going to get 17 and a half grand. Runner-up is going to get 35 grand. And the winner is going to get a cool 70 grand for a weekend's work. What it must be to be a darts player. I'd absolutely love it. Great prize funds there. And now let's have a look at the action, which like I say, is probably now starting. So I need to get this video out, guys. Um, on the main stage, we've got the um, Paul Nicholson, the asset, against Terry Jenkins, Ryan Harrington against Richie Burnett, Lee Evans against Dimitri Vandenberg, and John Morris against John Part. Stage 2, see Mark Walsh against Alex Roy, uh, Christo Reyes against Benito Vanderpaz, Mick McGowan against Dirk Van Dusselburg, excuse you know what my pronunciations are like, but I think um, Dirk has got a bye um, because Mick McGowan's out. There is a number of players out, but I'm not going to say it in this video in case I'm wrong, so I'd rather put the schedule there and if they don't turn up then it's I haven't made any errors. Um, Dan Reed against Joe Davis. Board three we've got Andrew Davidson against Michael Bergona. Uh, Re Rennie Items against Andrew Johnson. Michael Barnard against Scott Robertson. Bradley Brooks against Chris Quintock. Board four see Andrew Pullen against Mark Rice. Simon Tate against Michael Rastovitz. <laughs> Liam Kelly against Luke Humphreys and Robert Rickward against Rene Burnt. Um, board 5 sees Daniel Lee against Harry Ward, Kirk Shepard against Adam Hunt, Mickey Mansell against Ryan Meekle, that'd be a good one, uh, Daryl Pilgrim against Ian Joplin, board 6 is Benjamin McClellan versus David Airy, Chris Lacey against Martin Biggs, Ricky Evans against Andres, um, blah blah blah, and Cody Harris against Tony Mitchell, board 7 sees Craig and Stanley against Mark Craddock, Andy Hamilton against William O'Connor, I think William O'Connor is out, but do not take my word for it, Martin Atkins against Paul Whitworth, and Darren Brown against Paul Hogan, who we talked about Ali took the scalp. While board eight is Ron Moolenkamp events, Andy Hibbert, Hibbert uh, George Killington events, Andy Jenkins, uh, I think Rocky, um, Jason Mould against Prakash Jewa, and Darren Johnson against John Scott. So that is pretty much everything that you guys need to know and how the format work about the FA Cup of Darts. But what I want to know is, do you think that Peter Wright will win again this year? Leave your comments below as always, guys, and let me know. I hope he do, because I'm, I'm always telling you he's my favourite player. I would love to see him retain the title. Um, let me know your thoughts on that. And for you guys that have not checked out Fantasy Darts yet, it's showing loads and loads of interest from my other videos. 
people are starting to sign up. It's free to join and play. There's going to be crash, um, crash. There's going to be cash prize pools, knockout and predictions, monthly giveaways, and VIP tournaments. Just head across to www.fantasydarts.tv, fill in your email, and when the first tournament comes out in a few days' time, hopefully in the next three or four days, you guys will get an email, and hopefully you'll be able to win some money. It's going to be a hundred percent free, so nothing to lose there, guys. As always, I hope you found this video informative. I hope it's helped you a little bit with how the UK Open work and the schedule. If you do like it, please leave a like, turn on your notifications, and don't forget to head across to dartsplanet.tv because I've got my algorithm all set up to bring in the latest games as they're uploaded onto YouTube from the UK Open. Until next time, guys, that's it. Bye.